Okay, hello everyone, this is Hacky Dryheart. Um, I ended last time with a dying, I think, maybe? I don't know. Um, I managed to get my drill and my chainsaw back, and that's about it. So uh, now I've changed over to using a ender chest, a private one, that's connected to my ender pouch. So yeah, it's got all this random stuff in it. And uh, here I'm setting up my turtles. Uh, apparently the server gets reset fairly often. I should have known this, but whatever. So um, I had to make an entirely new program. It's like, well not entirely new, I just modified the one that I used to, oop, originally. Because it's like, you'll notice the areas that are already dug a little bit. I did a little work with that, but it's uh, not really working and I had those off by a chunk so I'm correcting that as of right now as well uh, one thing I noticed these still don't break pretty easily for the uh, advanced drill I think it works for normal I never really checked but I think it's just because of the advanced drill that you know it is an advanced drill so if Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, they don't mine as fast as I'd really prefer. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Let's see, where do I need to start it off? Um, here. So, place down the disk drive, put in a floppy. Jump up to place down the turtle face in the correct way. Put the ender chest in that order. Directory, check to make sure it's working. It is. Break that, pick it up. And except for, you know, clearing up any random stuff that's above ground over here. The others, I, before I started them off high up in the air so that they would uh, take it all out, but I've basically been like, you know what, screw this. I, they can take care of the stuff that's at ground level because of my forward command also including things to let that work, but uh, other than that, no thank you, I can just get rid of stuff this way. I'm going to have to, too, so I'll be back as soon as I uh, clear out all stuff except for the very ground level. Okay, I'm not quite done, but I realized I didn't explain something, and you probably noticed, because you have the power to pause time and watch whatever. Uh, so, um, you'll notice I have a Ultimate Lap Pack, a Nano Suit, and Long Fall Boots in my bag, yet yeah, I'm wearing that, and I don't have a helmet anywhere. That's because of, uh, over there you can just barely see a, uh, one of those mound dungeon things. And that's basically to blame for it. Um, I was in one of those a little way beyond that one. You'll notice I'm at like uh, minus 1,000 something. And I did that and it was like I died because I don't know why. Apparently angry zombies sprint or something when they get close to you. So it's like I was running away, it sprinted at me and knocked it down the hole I make to make to disable the spawner and I died. So yeah, zombies pick up my gear. I get back. I managed to eventually kill the zombies. I had... I think I was missing like some random stack of cobble and the quantum helmet. And in its place, I, met, I had zombies drop an extra ultimate lap pack and an extra quant... Or not quantum. Uh, uh, an extra nano leg. It's like I don't really have much use for them. Oh, and uh, I guess since I had an extra thing of uh, what's it, it also dropped an extra uh, long fall boot. Uh, it seems that I lost stuff equal to the amount of stuff that was duped. I don't know why it was duped. Um, what I guess is that um, it was the zombies picked it up and two picked up at the same time and managed to like, uh, I don't know, pick up the same item or something. And then they both had a 100% chance of dropping it or something. Or 
it might have been like an interaction between a normal zombie and an angry zombie picking something up because that seems more likely. And I think one was on an angry zombie, so there was that. It's like, uh, whatever. It's like, I don't really have much use for an extra pack of the what's it. So, or ultimate lap pack. I'll probably just end up keeping it as a backup. Because... It's like I'm sure I'll die at some point and lose everything and be kind of like, oh, no. Actually, I think that's out of the range that I had to do. Yeah, I just had to do uh, anything within these. So I'll finish up this tree over here. I wouldn't need to actually cut down the tree, but I don't want to cut down the leaves with this thing because it actually uh, clips the leaves and that's kind of annoying when you don't want them, it's like. When you are trying to collect leaves, that's a very nice feature. Um, oh, and you'll notice that I have a uh, advanced drill. Mm, excuse me. That's not because I went out and got the whatever it was I needed for it. That's because I borrowed the stuff from someone to make it. Um, mostly because I don't have a plains biome here. Next time I make an age for mining, I'm going to have to remember if I'm using Greg Tech, I'm going to need to also include a plains and a desert. Um, the plains has uh, the one thing that had the stuff I needed, um, bauxite. And the desert has some other kind of resource that you can only get in deserts, so yeah. I'll be back as soon as I finish this then. And I'm in my creative world. I realized something. I, uh, hadn't actually, uh, tested my thing yet, so, uh... Okay, that one's got the things in it. Remove the wall. This is where I test most of my turtle program stuff, so it's mostly filled with, uh, Corioles, basically. Hmm. Looks like that finished correctly. Um, just... Okay, I had to put the things in here. Actually, I'll need to rename that. Rename, I think, clear. I think renames the program name Lua Startup. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'll put the chess in startup. No, it didn't work. Okay. Edit startup 121. There isn't a 121. Wait. Dang it. Startup. Bio string clear squared out Lua 121. So that doesn't mean they added the uh, stored settings, yeah. Edit stored settings. This is basically just the settings for where it currently is, and it's all default right now. So let's uh, let's do startup again to 121. Edit clear square dot lua. Yeah, this is the thing that keeps track of where it is basically. And I think I call it whenever it moves. If I didn't, I'll have to go change that. And this is this is why I... Ooh, wait, wait. I put it in maintain, didn't I? If I didn't, I'm going to have to go back and redo all my turtles. But... Yeah. I'll be right back. I need to go do a little more heavier editing than just fixing the one line. Okay, this should work now. So, start up. And it didn't. Yeah, let's see. Edit clear square dot lua line 127. 
127 for a size one do exit start up string name expected hmm Let's see. Yeah, I've still got the, what's supposed to be default. It should be okay. Hmm. Wait. No, it should be right. Hmm. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm trying this. I don't know if it'll work. I uh, if. It, does 143 yes I figured out was wrong um, it just doesn't like when I use the outside local thing so I just changed the uh, lowercase a to uppercase and then I changed the inner point to make it do that so I'll have to go change B as well <laughs> B, there we go, yeah, 143. B, B equals B. So now it should work. Start up. There we go. What did you just do? Hmm. Odd. Let's put a thing there and uh, start up. Okay, it's jumping directly to the cleared. Let's see, directory, edit, stored, settings. Hmm, there is a problem. These should have numbers and stuff. And true is in the uh, finished line, so that means that it's... Uh, exit. Delete stored settings. That's what I get for not redoing that. There. Startup. No, it did it again. Edit stored settings. So now it's it's got more to it, but uh, what if I put a one there and a one there? Because that's what's supposed to be there. And a false as well. Save, exit, start up. No, why? Okay, let, let's let add this and make this true. Control save, control exit. It did it again. Stored settings, um, obviously. You put it back to false. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. Um, okay, it just wasn't accepting that I was trying to do stuff. Okay, so... You did it again. Number expected got string. Okay. Edit clear square that's different from 127 before because I uh, went and removed or maybe no that's probably about the same 
Yeah, I removed that because apparently it was equaling nil or something. So let's go. One twenty seven. Exit. So startup. It's saying four initial value. Initial value must be a number. It is a number. It's a number. I need to go look up some stuff. Okay, I uh, did this to the first one, but apparently you can force something into a number. And you just two number and then put it in the parens and you should be good. So this should work. Exit. Delete. S stored. Dang it. Der. Delete. Stored settings. Der. Okay. Start up. It did it again, didn't it? Edit. Edit. Stored settings. Four, eight, nothing, 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 nothing. It's not storing the number. Damn it. Why aren't you storing the numbers? BRB. Okay, I did a little something. Let's uh, delete stored settings again. Startup. Nope. That's the right enter checks down there. It will be right there. Okay, I just, and the interman just added right everything, so we'll start up. Remember to self, not a good one. False, false, bios, bad argument, string expected, got nil. Remember to self, let's edit clear square, but that could be a problem if it's doing something like that. Okay, this is a completely new turtle, I replaced it. Okay, so let's see. This last one should be something. It should be either a true or a false, but it doesn't matter. This one's false, this one's false. That's zero. And one. Okay, we'll uh, start up again. Okay, somewhere it's causing... Uh, I need to add more print statements out. I'll be right back. Okay, I flipped a few things. Let's see if it... There we go, it's working now. And now, save and quit. Single player. And it works. The only problem I had was the turning. It should shut itself off on the turning, but I want to... Oh, nope, didn't work. That's a not working there. Okay, edit stored settings. Ah, of course it's not working. I'll be right back. Or edit. Clear square dot lua. Hey. The problem is here, I don't want B. I want B. Uh, A. Control save. Now, uh, Lua turtle dot forward. Exit. 
darn it. Now oh, I might as well uh, delete stored settings, I think. No, no. Um, delete. Yeah, it was stored settings. Start up. There we go. And now we're going to save and quit. Er, I guess this is a good test. Hmm. Edit stored setting. That's weird. Settings. I guess it didn't finish recording. Hmm. So it looks like if it starts in the middle of a thing, it doesn't do it right. So start up. Delete. Stored settings. Start up. Save and quit. Single player. We'll see if that works. No. Okay. I don't know what it's doing. We'll, we'll try to get it to work some way. Stored settings. Start up. I'll catch it when it just moved forward. No. Hmm, that would be harder than I thought. It worked before. Well, let's see what it's, uh... Okay, so it's writing out... Of course it's writing out that. Well, I'll just save and quit and go back in. Oh my, I'm being derpy. Uh, delete. Stored. Actually, no. Let's take a look at the stored settings. I'll be right back. Okay, this is an entirely new turtle. And it's doing that same old thing. Hmm. Edit stored settings. Okay, exit. Start up. Start up. <sighs> okay, that was an easy fix. Start up. Okay, and now I'm just going to save and quit, single player, flat world, and it works! Ish. It should... Wait a second, I'm being derpy. I'm being derpy. I have it... Damn it, I should have reduced the size. Um... So this is, a uh, one chunk here. So, uh... Be right back. Well, it's going a little too far and it's being derpy. Really derpy. The hell causes it to do that? I think this. Uh, whatever. I'll work on this later. You don't. I've already spent most of the video doing turtle stuff. So I'll go back to the actual thing. So I'll be right. Okay, I finished picking up the turtles. Because no matter what I did, I'd have to be doing them over again. So. Once that bag opens up. The world has actually caught up with me. There we go. We can throw the. Actually, I want. Them. Oh, I forgot to throw in the drill. I keep as many things in the bag as I can so that if something happens, 
they're, you know, in the bag. So I don't lose them. Um, ah, yes. This good. No, no, that's not where you go. Get the drill back out. Okay. That's not where you go, disk drive. You go there. So I can actually manipulate you with that computer. There we go. And I'll show over here, which is where I've got my, uh, it, it's sort of a sorting system, I guess. Where I've got a bunch of dirt and cobble and stuff. Um, I use these in the, uh, extra dimensional chest mostly because, uh, I've got wooden tendrils in the world, though they only appear deeper. Between rows, I've got a uh, restriction pipe, so things should be okay. Everything faces this way except for the two end one or three end ones, which face inward. So each row, it probably would have been better to have the rows actually be like uh, like this then these two together, then this, and have them facing in towards the center. But I put it up like this, and barrels are kind of hard to take down, and these are obsidian covers. And honestly, I'm okay with this setup. It's like, it's not really meant to be an easy-to-use one. It's just meant to store a ton of stuff. And I think this will store enough. It's three stacks of barrels. So if it doesn't, well... Apparently, I didn't plan hard enough for it. Throw in my spare stuff there. and uh, There we go. Yep. Stuff heads down along there, and it's all taken care of. <sighs> oh, boy. Gonna have to really do a bunch of debugging on that turtle thing. Really sure why it wasn't working. Oop, filled with copper. That would do that. And I've got my iridium and some nickel dust. So I can head over here, throw the iridium. Actually, no, iridium ore I can just go and throw right in the compressor. Because there's no other use for iridium ore, it's just a step in the process. Tin, tungsten, copper, electrum. I'm mostly doing it for the tin. And the fact that I have a bunch of uh, lava. Or, I should have a bunch of lava. If I had gas... Uh, hmm, it's not that. I need that lever, but I'm going to put that lever... Up above there. And then I'm going to go grab another liquid duck and see what this does. I'd be a little more worried if it was something that could just run forever, but... It's... Ooh. It's not... go out. We'll wait until that empties. Place that down. Move that. Nope. Dang it. Well, if I do, I'm going to have to basically remove all these anyway. Lose a little bit of lava. Oh well. I designed my thing so it doesn't matter if I lose that much lava. That do need to do let that fall out. There we go. Oopsie. I should just uh fill in the rest of these. Dang it. Right as soon as I place it, it's like, hey, have some lava. I'm like, okay, whatever. There we go. I don't know what this will do with the tank, because I'm inputting and I'm outputting at the same time. Really, the way I should have done it is have had 
these things, then a tank, then everything else, basically. But yeah. What I'm doing here is, uh, let's see, where is it? Lots of recipes in this thing. Apparently I should have went the other way. I thought it was farther to one side than the other. Apparently I was wrong. Wait, there's some of the recipes. Lava, basically in any form, a uh, full stack of it will get you 6 Electrum, 16 and Copper, Tungsten, and some Tin. I'm doing it for these three things. And the Coppers, I guess I'll want Copper eventually too. The biggest problem though is that it's making ingots of a type that I don't normally get. But uh, whatever. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. It's like, oh no, two different stacks of copper. I really cared. I just macerate it. And I might at some point macerate it if it really gets. So I have like random amounts in there like a few stacks of this, a few stacks of that, a few stacks of that. But it's just two types. And I don't think I had copper anyway. Oh wait, no, here's the compressor. There we go, the iridium ingot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's four of those, some of that. Two, three, four. And that. And then I can go over to here. No, it doesn't let you shift click in. Sad face. Actually, considering that, I'll put it like that then. Yep. This requires a rolling machine if you've got the uh, thing that puts the rolling machine in. Railcraft, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but whatever. Radium alloy ingot. Throw that in there. I wonder if I've got a... I don't think I have enough industrial... No, no, I don't. I need six more industrial TNT before I can do that. But I'm basically just slowly doing that as I go. And it's like I've got two ultimate lap packs. I have a backup just in case, but I shouldn't need it. But hey, it's there. Um, I also think I was... Uh, do I have coal dust in here? I have some coal dust. I think I can cook this hydride coal and get normal coal dust. Yeah, you can get normal coal dust that way. Cool. Let's see. There we go. Is that enough? No, that won't be enough. I'll need a couple more plates. Then I can remake my helmet. So yeah, I haven't really been doing much, but after I uh, get that, the turtles figured out so that they're actually running, I'll probably start on uh, the mob system I've been planning to do in the 1AH WC3 made with the uh, nether, what's it, the nether that's a void and all, and get the pig farm thing. I might actually use a different plan than this, because this was nice for when you didn't have much resources, because... It's like, those things cost, what, an iron, a stick, a piece of plank, and you get two of them. And then you just need the redstone along one side. And then some sticky pistons, but it's like I made a world where it's like I go there and I get slimes, so yeah. And I actually managed to go over with this, so I might cut out a little bit of the computer stuff. I might not. If it's down to exactly 30 minutes or something, then I probably cut out computer stuff. So yeah, this is Zach here, Dreyhart, and I'm signing off.